If you're in marketing, you know how important it is to have a good customer insight. Now, you might want to go out there in the street and start a survey, ask people questions. Most of the time they will say, hey, no, we don't have time for you, we just can't answer. And for the very few who want to answer, you're never really sure of how accurate are their answers, your question. Do they reflect reality, yes or no? You might want to uh, do a focus group, and this is really time consuming. And in terms of sample size, um, it's always very small. The reason why surveys are never a good description of reality is, what, is because what people say is not what people do. We are basically emotional machine driven by our subconscious. And what we do is simply to post-rationalize um, some action that have been already decided by our subconscious, by our brain. So our brain decides and then we say, oh, I've done that because of, I've chosen this product because of this or because of that. Let me explain why we're such an emotional machine and we're not so rational after all. At the center of your brain here is the amygdala, which is very much the emotional center of your brain. Every information, stimulus, transit through the amygdala and is given an emotional tag negative positive or neutral and then this information is going to be treated analyzed by other regions of the brain such as the visual cortex at the back of your brain the parietal lobe here um, which is linked to attention and finally here um, the prefrontal cortex involved in decision making, as well as the hippocampus linked to, emo to, to memory. So once this information arrives to some place, um, the emotional tag, tag is going to be critical in how the information is treated. You pay more attention to, an, uh, to a signal which is more emotional than a signal which is neutral. You'll tend to, for example, remember um, your first kiss rather than brushing your teeth. Okay? You'll tend to drink more of a certain uh, beverage if it's associated to a positive emotion than to a neutral or negative emotion. And this is why uh, it is very, very important to understand how people process information. And this is the heart of neuroscience and neuromarketing. Hi, I'm Mihir. I'm a research associate here at the SPGen Neuroscience Lab. Neuromarketing was first used during the Cola Wars to analyze consumers' brainwave patterns to see their preferences between the two reigning brands of Cola at the time. Personally, I am using neuromarketing to analyze the impact of media on buying behavior. Neuromarketing can be used for image analysis, video analysis, website analysis, even to analyze user experiences, and of course, much, much more.